Hello, everyone, and welcome. Thanks for coming back. My name is Connor, and I'm here with the Sports Safety Program at HSS. Your positive thought for today is to become a master of your mind, because if you can master your mind, then you'll become the master of movement and the master of your own body, all right? And everything starts up top here at the brain, and uh, if we want to be moving as safely as possible, we got to make sure that we're thinking about how we're moving, all right? For today's workout, you're not going to need any equipment, just some open, safe space, comfortable clothes, and sneakers. The concept for today is going to be about jumping and landing as safely as possible. All right, so we're going to really focus on uh, our lower body alignment. We're going to make sure that we're landing softly. All right, you shouldn't be hearing your feet as we're doing these exercises later on. All right, and uh, everything we're doing is going to be leading up into uh, jumping and landing practice as safely as possible. Remember to do the absolute best that you can, all right? Remember, we want to strive for perfection. It's not about how quickly you can do these or uh, how far you can jump. It's about doing them the right way, okay? If at any point these exercises become too hard, feel free to take a break, grab a drink of water, pause the video, and then come back when you're ready. All right, let's get things moving with our first round of exercises here. We're going to start off with knee hugs, okay? So this is going to be require a little bit of space to move around in. We're going to take a step, bring that knee up, hug it into our chest, bring it right back down. Other side up, hug it into the chest, and right back down. Okay. I'll show you what these look like in motion. We're going to take a step, bring the opposite knee up, hug it into our chest, right here. Okay, stay nice and balanced on that one foot. Great job. The next exercise we're gonna do is a hurdle step, forward and backward, okay? So again, you wanna have a little bit of space to move around in here. You're gonna take a nice, big, arching step forward, plant that foot, bring the other foot around to meet it, okay? Now we're gonna go in that reverse direction, so step that leg back. Same thing with the other side. All right, to give you another angle of that one, all right, and again, we wanna be starting with a different foot this time. So I'm gonna go with my left foot, step over the hurdle, right foot, up there to meet it, okay? And then we're gonna go backwards in that same direction, okay? Great job. The next exercise we're gonna do is an inchworm. So again, I'm gonna give you that side view so you can see a little bit better. We're gonna start here with our feet together, okay? Stretch your hands up straight overhead. We're gonna come down, bring those hands to the floor, walk your hands out into this plank position here. We're gonna now walk our feet up to meet our hands, okay? Back up to the top, okay? We can do that in the reverse direction as well, okay? Walk the feet back, plank position, walk the hands back to meet your feet, stand back up to the top. All right, for these next two exercises, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a mat or some kind of soft surface to lay down on, okay? So we're gonna start with a low plank first, okay? Come down to the mat. We're gonna be on our elbows. We're gonna step our feet back, really press into our heels, and I wanna maintain, again, that straight line from my shoulder to my hips to my ankles, okay? Really firm, engaged core here. Make sure that we're, we're staying really rigid, maintaining that good posture. I don't wanna start dipping down or lifting my butt up into the air. That tells me that I need to take a break, okay? So remember, you can always pause this video and come right back to it. But I want you to challenge yourself to do this as long as you possibly can. All right, and relax. Our next exercise is going to be a supine bridge walk, okay? So, we're gonna lay on our backs. We're gonna walk our feet up close to our bottoms here, okay? Lift the hips, okay? And what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna walk our feet out as far as we possibly can. You should really be feeling this in your glutes and hamstrings, okay? We're gonna walk the feet right back. Always trying to keep those hips elevated off the ground. And back to the starting position. Once you're finished, you can lower your hips back down. And we're finished, great job. Okay, we're gonna be moving on to another set of exercises. The focus for these is gonna be on maintaining core control. So just like we did with our, with our low planks, 
We wanna make sure that we keep that core nice and engaged throughout these exercises. We're gonna start with a single leg forward T. So, I'm gonna show you this from the side first, okay? Plant your one foot, get a little bit of a bend in this front knee, okay? Arms are gonna come out wide, or if you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, extend those hands out in front. We're gonna lower till we're in this T position, all right? Bring it right back up to the top, and we're gonna switch over to the other side. Let's plant the right leg, again, slight bend in the knee, arms out to the side, or extend it out in front of you. Bring it down, and right back up to the top. We're gonna try that a few more times on each side. Keep it going. Our next exercise is gonna be really important when we talk about jumping and landing because this is the position that we're gonna start and end in. All right, this is called ready position. All right, so ready position is about a quarter or a half squat. So I'm gonna sink a little bit back into my hips here. I've got a firm core again, okay? No one would be able to come and push me over right now. All right, I'm gonna have my hands out to my sides, give me a little bit of extra balance. My feet are about shoulder width apart, and I'm in line from uh, ankle to knee to hip. All right, I'll show you this from the front. Ready positions right here. All right, our next exercise is going to be just your average squat, okay? But we really wanna focus on our form with this one, okay? So I'm gonna show you from the side and from the front as well, all right? When we squat, we wanna start with our feet, hip width apart. You're gonna sit back on your heels, push your butt back, sink down as low as you can go, and then come right back up to the top, stand up straight, really lock those hips and knees into place. Lower back down, back up to the top, okay? Again, we're maintaining that really firm core. I'll show you this one from the front. Down. Again, you can see ankle, knee, hip are all in a straight line. Great job. Our next exercise is going to be a reverse lunge, okay? So we're gonna start with our feet together. Again, about shoulder width apart. You're gonna take your right foot, step it back. Lower that knee down. You wanna see about a 90 degree angle in both knees here. Step back right up to the top, okay? We're gonna stay with that same side. Lower that knee down slowly and come right back up to the starting position. All right, once you've gotten a few on that side, let's switch over and we'll go to the left leg. Step that foot back. Again, try to keep that hip, ankle, and knee in a straight line. Right back to the start. One more time, and we're moving on. So our next exercise is going to be a standing landing. All right, so I want you to remember that ready position that we were, were in just a few exercises ago. We're gonna start in that position and we're gonna end there. So I'm gonna take a slight hop forward and land in that ready position. Stand back up into the ready position. One more time from the front. All right, and now one more time from the side here. Keep it going, great job. Our next exercise is going to be a vertical jump. So here you're trying to jump as high as you possibly can. We're gonna start in that ready position and we're gonna end in that ready position, okay? Again, we're focusing on jumping and landing as safely as possible. So, my feet are about hip width apart. Sink a little bit into that squat. I'm gonna drive my heels, drive my hands up. Come back down to that same starting position. Here's what it looks like from the side. Nice soft landing. You shouldn't be pounding those feet on the floor. Our next exercise is going to be forward and backward jumps. Okay? So instead of jumping for height, we're going for distance. So make sure you've got a nice, decent amount of open space here. Same starting position. Ready position is where we're going to start and end. I'm gonna jump forward, landing in that ready position, and now I'm going to jump backward, landing in that ready position, okay? Let's complete a few more of those together. Again, nice soft landings there. All right, for our last round of exercises, we're gonna start off with 
the chop and stop with a jump, okay? So here, we're gonna be focusing on coming to a complete stop as quickly as we can. So I'm gonna run out, chop my feet. I'm gonna start in that ready position, jump it back up, okay? Take myself back to the start, okay? So, chop and stop, jump back to the starting position. Show you one more time here from the front. Come to a stop. Nice vertical jump there. Again, soft landing on those feet. The next exercise we're gonna do is a lateral skater jump. Okay, so we're getting down into that speed skater position. I'm on one foot, lift that other foot off the ground. I'm gonna drive that knee up and I'm gonna jump over onto that opposite foot. So I'm starting on my left and I'm gonna jump to the right. Complete a few more of those on each side. Keep it going, you're doing a great job. For our last agility exercise, we're gonna be doing a jog in place with a pause. So, you don't need too much space for this one, we're just jogging in place. So, get those feet moving, find a nice spot, and pause on one leg. Back to the jog, pause on one leg. Nice landing, again, keeping that ankle, knee, and hip in a straight line. Pause. Make sure you do an equal number on both sides, okay? We don't wanna favor one side over the other. All right, everyone, I'm so proud of the work that you accomplished today. Thanks for uh, doing these exercises along with me. Remember, today's focus was on jumping and landing as safely as possible. So we're keeping the hips, knees, ankles all in a straight line. We're landing softly, allowing our knees to kind of cushion some of that, uh, some of that land, all right? Thank you all so much for joining us. Make sure you tune back tomorrow. We're gonna have some new videos and some new content for you. I'll see you there. Have a great rest of your day.